Last time in this DIY electric skateboard series, we built a 6S battery pack. But using 18650 batteries without a protection circuit is dangerous. This is a 6S battery management system or BMS. So in this fourth video of the series, let's connect the BMS to our battery so pack. So these are six cells connected in series. So they have been placed inside in an opposite, um, opposing orientation. So positive, negative, positive, negative. This little guy here is uh, the battery management system. What this basically does is it prevents the battery from overcharging or over discharging. Your BMS depends on how many batteries your battery pack has. For example, this is a 6S BMS and it cannot be used for any other number of batteries than 6. More batteries can however be added in parallel. For example, a 6S 2P or a 6S 3P should work with this BMS without a problem. These circuits are really cheap, about $2 each, but make sure you get it from a reliable source. Make sure the maximum or cutoff current is equal or greater than what your motor will be pulling. I went for the 15 ampere continuous discharge BMS and uh, I think it is plenty for the skateboard motors. Now if you take a closer look at uh, the battery management system, you can see a couple of uh, pads here, um, starting from these two here, uh, which is P positive and P negative. I just put negative here because I think there was no space to put the P. But anyway, uh, the P positive and the P negative can stand for the power leads. And these two go to your motor or your ESC or whatever you are powering with the batteries. And then, so we're not going to uh, touch these today. Um, but these leads here are, uh, uh, let's start with the B, B negative. And that goes to uh, the negative terminal of your first battery. And then this B positive goes to the positive terminal of your last battery. And then these B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5 in an alternating fashion go to each uh, connected terminal. We're going to see what that means uh, in a while. But if you see closely here, you can see the voltage markings here. Um, that makes it easier for you to connect the batteries. This one says 3.7. This one should say 7.4 somewhere. Uh, it's right here. Say 7.4, and then this one is 11.1, uh, 14.8, uh, 18.5, and then this is the B positive, which would be the whole 24 or 25 volts. Now it can be a little confusing because our battery um, one has a positive terminal, and our battery six has a negative terminal, uh, which is kind of you know the battery leads. But here uh, B minus. Um, which is supposed to be B minus of the first battery is actually the B minus of the last battery. Nothing to be um, afraid of. We're just going to orient it this way. And then uh, this way we're going to connect B minus to uh, cell number six. So this is going to be our cell number one as uh, far as the battery management system is concerned. But what you need to remember is uh, you need to connect the B minus to the negative terminal of your first battery. So let me just uh, fire up my soldering iron and let, let's get soldering. So while the iron is uh, heating up, I just uh, drew a quick schematic for you guys to make it easy to understand. So the P plus P minus, we can forget about it. We'll connect it later. Um, and then uh, B minus goes to uh, the minus of your first battery or uh, the sixth battery in our case. But these are the exposed ends of our battery and whichever is negative is your first battery. So this one goes here, okay? Now each of these connections represents uh, these leads that we have connected. And this is the way we have done it in opposing fashion. So positive to negative, positive to negative. So, so B1 would go to uh, the 3.7 volt potential because this is just measuring uh, the potential of one battery. So B1 would go here and then our B2 would go to the next connection. So B2 would go, let me draw this, to the next connection. Then B3 would go to this one, B4 would go to this one, and then B5 
would come here to this one then the last positive would be connected to our b plus right here i don't know if this makes it any easier but uh, to me this is uh, the easiest way you can see it if you're wondering what the uh, potential markings are on here um, and how they add up uh, let's see uh, if you measure between these terminals the b1 and ground you're gonna get 3.7 volts because it's just measuring one battery and if you connect your uh, voltmeter lead to here and ground or uh, the first battery you're gonna get 7.4 volts because it's measuring the potential of two batteries and if you connect b3 and b3 is marked here 11.1 we're going to get uh, the potential of uh, three batteries because it's going to measure all through this. And then similarly, if you get B4, which is marked 17.4, it's going to measure the voltage between this point and this point, which is uh, the voltage of four batteries, and so on and so forth. But anyway, this is how uh, the connections are supposed to be. Okay, now that we know what we are doing, I will start soldering the connections. Make sure you put a little solder on the pads and make sure your solder connections are strong. Also ensure you use a thick wire, something like 14 or 16 AWG for the B plus and B minus terminals. And use a thin wire like AWG 20 for the other connections. Once I was done soldering, I added a few extra heat shrinks to cover the exposed ends of the wire. As an extra precaution because 18650s are dangerous and risk must be minimized wherever possible. Ensure that the solder is flowing smoothly and the wires are binding properly to the nickel strips. Also make sure no wire is loose as this might cause a short circuit. And that's it. Now I will attach my BMS onto the battery pack with some hot glue so it doesn't move around and cause a short circuit but the battery pack is ready to be used hope you guys like the video and are enjoying this electric skateboard build as much as i am i'll see you next time keep fungineering and stay safe